The Warriors are easily making the case as the best team of all time. They are a super team of the highest order. So we got to thinking, could a hand-picked all-star team beat Golden State? Well, I did my best <laughs> to uh, hand-pick an all-star team to beat Golden State. And in this case, my first player that, that I picked here, it's going to be a little bit surprising. I mentioned before, even on super teams, you need role players. Avery Bradley. Give me Avery Bradley. His job is going to be sicking on Steph Curry. He can play offense a little bit, too. I actually think he's the best player on the Celtics. I think he's a better overall player than Isaiah Thomas. Um, so Avery Bradley is the first guy I'm going with. My second guy in the backcourt is Jimmy Butler again. I can put him right on Klay Thompson. And this is what I did uh, strategically, Maggie. I thought about defense first. Because all these guys I'm picking are star players. They can all score the rock. But how am I going to specifically match up against Golden State? And I want to be able to switch every position. I want to be able to really hound them on the perimeter. Okay, so Avery Bradley on Steph and Jimmy Butler on Clay. On Clay, yeah. Then I've got uh, in the front court, you have to start going with, with some playmakers and the like. But uh, Kawhi Leonard of course, is going to be a part of this squad when you're going up against the Golden State Warriors. We've already seen what he did in San Antonio in Game 1 until he rolled that ankle. So you, you got to have Kawhi Leonard when you're playing this team. I also put Paul George there with that length. Paul George, actually, if they go to the death lineup, I'd have him on Andre Iguodala. Kawhi Leonard is going to be my guy for Kevin Durant. And then rounding it out, LeBron James is the guy facilitating everything for me offensively. And I love the way he match up with Draymond Green specifically defensively if that's his only assignment on that end. So it's Avery Bradley, Jimmy Butler, Paul George, LeBron James, and Kawhi Leonard. Okay, I, there's not a lot of holes I can put in this argument. It's a pretty good team. It's a very good team, obviously. That's the point. I guess I would say you don't have a spot-up knockdown shooter. I mean, you have plenty of guys who can score. Everybody can shoot. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, you're, no one's deadly. Because they're all know? on the Warriors. <laughs> that's the problem. All those guys are on the Warriors. And I, But I do like this team. You know, Avery Badley was definitely a wild card, but if you do like him on Steph Curry, uh, then you need someone to set the tone against Steph. And obviously Kawhi against Kevin Durant. We saw it for about a half, a quarter uh, in this uh, playoffs, and, and it was working pretty well. So I guess comment out there on Facebook Live. What do you think of Robin's team? It's the Warriors versus the world. Who do you think wins? I'm actually still going to take the Warriors, even though your lineup is, is really amazing, but... I can switch every spot, remember. You know, <laughs> except different. Avery Bradley can't really Listen, switch out on the Durant. I know, but that. we are watching a super team in the Cavs get destroyed by a super, super team of the worst. Are Destroy the Cavs really a super team, though? I, mean, I think they are. I, I don't know. I don't know if Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love are superstars. I mean, uh, Kyrie is like a super role player. He's a super scorer. He's as good as it gets at that, but he doesn't elevate the team in other ways. And I think all of us kind of agree now, Kevin Love is a good player, but he's not a star no, player. No, no, I mean, Kevin Love is really great. This matchup for him and the Warriors is not good. I mean, let's not discount what's happened in the playoffs since we got here. Kevin Love was playing really good defense. He was incredibly uh, important to the Cavaliers getting this far. I mean, listen, the problem is about the super team with the Cavaliers is I'm not in love with the role players. You know, J.R. Smith has not been great. Iman Shumpert has not been great. Kyle Korver, Darren Williams, I could keep going. These guys have not been chipping in. And with Kevin Love not being a good matchup against the Warriors, it's really just LeBron and Kyrie. I disagree with you. I think Kyrie is, is superstar status. I mean, I, maybe I'm going back to game seven with the shot, mm. but he is such a great playmaker, and I, I, think he's, I think he's there for me. Plus, Tristan Thompson's getting out-rebounded by Thompson, Steph Curry. The role players have not been good, and that's why they're on the verge of getting swept.